In this video lesson, we are going to look at how to create a lookup field in Microsoft Access 2003. As databases are really all about time saving, we don't really want to spend a lot of time on data entry, especially if that typing can go wrong. I've got a database here and I'm just going to open the membership table. And I strongly recommend whenever you are working with a database, especially if it's not your own, to always take a little bit of time to have a good look at what the data is and what it's about. Make sure you understand that before you try to make any kind of modifications. This is a table of members with their membership number, names and addresses. We've got a county field and you can see there already there's been a data entry error for Devon. But more than that, whenever you type in a new record, you have to fill in all the information, but you've got to type in Devon again. That's time wasting and can lead to errors. So we're going to look at a way of making that a little bit more streamlined. To do it, we go into the design view of the table. And then let's have a look at the properties of the county field. We can see it's a text field that allows 25 characters in. But what we can do on the data type is change the data type. Well, it doesn't really change the data type, but it, what we're going to do is create a lookup wizard. I'll show you after this how to do this manually as well. But we're going to use a wizard to start off with. And the first thing we see is the lookup wizard dialog box with two options. The options are to use a table that you already have or to type in the values that we want to be in the lookup field. We're going to choose that option first. We'll come back to the table later. Just going through the wizard, so we click next. And then basically we type into this mini data sheet the information that we want just pressing the tab key after every entry will move it down onto the next line. Once you have all your information into this mini table, you choose the next button and it asks us what label we want it for this data to be called and county is the correct thing and then finish. We need to save the table and have a look at how this will work. So we switch back to data sheet view and let's try inserting a new record now. Now when we come to insert the new record to enter the county we have a little drop down field and we can choose the information from there. The benefit there is of course that there's no chance of mistyping. So we look back in design view And show you what's actually happened there. So we're on the county field still. We'll click the lookup tab in the field properties area. And you can see what's happened there. It's created a combo box as a value list. And basically it's just put the information that we typed in into the row source. So you could not use the wizard and just type this information in yourself. So if we wanted to add another county to that, we can just simply type into the box using the same kind of methodology as already exists, such as semicolon to separate and the text in quotation marks. I strongly recommend that you play around and have a look at the effects of all these different options. Most of them will make sense. The one I like is at the bottom limit to list because what that allows you to do is allow people only to choose counties, for example, that are in that list. If you have that as no, the default, then people will be able to type in their own county instead of just using the list. So I like to force them to use the list. If we save that again, go back into design view, sorry, data sheet view, create a new record, and hopefully now 
we can see that Cornwall is in the list. Just going to delete that altogether now back in the design view. And basically to do that we're just going to change the uh, display control back to a text box and that gets rid of the lookup field. We'll save it. We'll just go through that process once more but with a slight difference. This time I've already got the names of counties in a table. So I'm going to utilize that to save me typing them again. So we're going to design view, choose the correct field, change the data type to a lookup wizard. This time we're going to use a first option that the values are already in a table or a query. Choose next. And there's our list of tables. If it, if it was a query already, we could choose the options down below here. But there's my table, the county table. Click on next. There's only one field in the table. If there was more than one field that we could work with that and choose the field that we would want. We can sort things as we go through the wizard. And finally, there's displaying the data as it would, as it should appear. And we can alter the width of the field to make sure we can display all the information. Again, that's just labeling. And then we save the table. Look this time that the row source information is different. It actually created a query based on the county table. And you can actually go in and make modifications there as well, but you don't need to be able to do that. If we switch back now to datasheet view to see how that works and create a new record. And down in the county field, we've got, move that over before you, we've got the fields, sorry, the data that was in the table. The benefit of doing that, of course, using the table rather than typing it in, is if you need to add a new county, then you can simply go back to your original table and add a new county down here. And that will then appear in the list. That's lookup fields in Microsoft Access.